Thanks for tuning in for another episode. As you can see, I kind of just wanted to glide through that one. Um, this is a real easy one. This is uh, must have been the Roses off the Reckoning album. So uh, if you've heard this song, that's probably the version you've heard. Um, you can hear Bob doing his little frills in the background. It's only very subtle because this is kind of a slow song. You don't want to fill the space too much. You really wanted to accent. So it starts out with Jerry doing the opening riff. shape A, E shape A, just without the bar. You're not, you don't want to emphasize the, you're emphasizing the bottom. Leaving this open. 
open A. around the major. Just get skip the four, so. So sus sus two to major third. You're keeping the five on the whole time. So it's gonna be four to six on the G string. Five staying. Pinky's on the seven. Pinky and your uh, middle finger's hitting that as well. So every single time you hit a note, you're gonna be. Besides the last two. So it's six, four, seven, four, seven, four. walk down right there and then Jerry comes in you're at this A you want to emphasize the minor third to major third in this too. On the 5th, on the B string, on the E string, not really on the G string. On the 5th it's the B and the E. On the 7th it's for the D. And for the E it's also for the E. It's on, it's on the 12 and on the 5. You hear him do it like 28 seconds you hear him go that's on the fifth on the B emphasizing the five and the A kind of just in the background doesn't want to add too much and then after you do that she had same thing on the E when he goes G because it's the seven. You can go to A7 or G, whichever one you want to do. I hear him go to G because it's just the whole chord of the seven, you know. After you go to D, after you go to G, D. You're going to be doing a lot of inversions where the third is on the top and the pinky's on the fifth. If you watch my previous videos, you'll know exactly what I'm talking about. I feel like a broken record when I'm saying that because Bob uses this inversion so much. So you want to have this major third on the top inversion down. Third. I don't know. E. So the 
I don't know it's D. <laughs> it must have been the roses. Must have been E. Seventh and ninth. This is the main riff Bob's doing. Keeping that pink or keeping the middle finger on there again on the fifth. But instead of going, you're gonna add the pinky on the seventh. So seven, six, four, seven, and then back into the six from the four. And that's emphasizing that note in F sharp minor. But you're doing it right here. So when you go. Do the triangle F sharp minor, putting your index on the fifth. Kind of just like work your way into it and emphasize the bottom once you finally get the full chord. It's the seven harmonic. sharp minor right there. So it's kind of the same riff from A to F sharp minor. Back into A. So go through the verse again. So the second verse is kind of different than the first one. He goes right to G. Sometimes I go up to this G instead of this one. Whatever tickles your fancy. This one you're gonna put on the five in this part of the verse. So you threw in a twelve harmonic right there. to the D that ends on the A.
starts it late, so he goes. I don't know. Must it be in the roses? You're in this A. So, 12, 11, 9, up 12. That's the first segment. Then he goes. third of D. circles from there I kind of just want to show you the first couple verses because then he starts recycling from there so do those harmonics on the D and the A on the E you can even throw this one on the A sometimes minor third and major third on the A help guys more to come as always <laughs> 